hello, I'm the Impish Scribe, trying to find and make some sense in this crazy world. So, today I'm doing an experiment, which is nothing new in and of itself. But I thought I'd try eating out by myself. Uh, I was looking at some info, yes, statistics, that says that people eating out by themselves, as in not eating with anyone for, you know, it can go for a week and longer, 38%. And we all have autonomy and we all have, you know, we're all very capable human beings, but there's always that stigma involved. I think it was about 20 years ago, that storyline in Friends of Rachel, she goes out to eat by herself and the guy that she really likes sees her eating and it's like, oh my God, you've eaten by yourself. Ugh. And, you know, we are by nature sociable creatures. Like even the word companion, it has its roots from the Latin con pan and um, you know, in Latin American the term um, compañero, you know, it's con pan, you know, someone that you break bread with. Although for me, being gluten intolerant, it would be gluten free bread. Um, and I really want to go to this restaurant and have done for quite some time. And um, yeah, it's the last day of Eat Out to help out officially and yeah, all my friends are vegetarian and vegan and I'm kind of carnivorous so, you know, it wasn't really an option. And I want to see if I, if it's, am I going to get judgy comments? Are people going to be like, oh, where's your, where's your date? Or where's your husband? Or where's your significant other? That kind of thing. Um, but yes. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for public it, transport, uh, which is kind of like freaking me out a bit. Come on, public transport, I need you. I really need you right now. I might have to get a taxi, damn it. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Um, has it been quite? Has it been quiet since you've come back after Corona virus? Uh, yeah, it's it's um, eat out to help out. It's, it, it, did help a bit. Uh-huh. So now it's um, yeah, now it's last day today. Which is why I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, make the most of it last day. Very much so. Definitely, definitely. Yes. But it, it did improve but not not uh, as it was before hundred percent. Well um, I would say like forty percent improve. Oh right. Yeah. It's it's not really great. Mm. Because businesses, shopping centres, they are open, but like bars, clubs, like our trade depends on the most of the time on the so, uh, cinemas, bars, yeah, yeah. theatres, hotels. Hotels are not open. Um, yeah. I didn't know that. I yeah, didn't know that. So welcome to Soho. Yeah. And welcome to almost getting run down. <laughs> Just got to cross the road now and run. I've already had a phone call. A little bit nerve wracked. It's fine, it's fine. You know, it's such a silly thing. Ugh. Can we? Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter's playing, something like that. <sighs> Here we are. You've just missed out on a really bad joke from someone, but you know, not the end of the world. There's a queue of people who've booked, including myself. Look at this place! Eating! Lots of meat. Oh, okay then. I couldn't sit at the bar because, like, social distancing. Um, and that's okay. Oh, oh, here comes someone. I'm waiting for the toilet. La la la. Uh, I'm waiting. So, something's never changed, like queuing for the women's toilets, you know, stroke of a conversation. You can hear them laughing at time. Ah, is that, there's a queue, there's a queue. Yeah. Yes. Time to go back upstairs. It's fine. 
yeah, people um, kind of like pointing and staring. The, the night is young. Music. Slam. So I thought this was sa oh, so I thought this was salad, but it's actually raw onions. But yeah. Everyone's wearing more black here. When did wearing more black become like really trendy? So it turns out I was given the chicken first, and this is the lamb. It's probably karma for eating like cute lamb. Wrong onions. Can you guys hear any of this? Yeah, there's a table next to me of guys like, and they're talking like. Stuff. But yeah, I have to say the lamb is like. So everyone's staring at their phones anyway, so no one's said anything to me along the lines of you're eating by yourself. What is it with exposed brick and the whole kind of like exposed pipes and stuff? I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, in restaurants. It's like a whole, you know, I don't want to be like, it's a bit like the whole hipsterification of like decor. So it's a bit quieter in here. Um, I don't have a very um, quiet spot where I'm sat. But um, yes, no one has um, come up to me and said, you eat by yourself or anything like that. Um, so far, um, yeah, I think I'm starting to have meat sweat. Oh. Mm. Sorry, lambs. Um, but yes, um, it's interesting because I thought it would be a case of, like, if a woman goes to a bar or a pub by herself, and it's certainly been my experience, or club, it's kind of like you're regarded as fair game, <clears throat> whereas no one's coming up to me and hitting on me, which is a really good thing. Um, um, yeah, not being hit on, and um, it's quite interesting. Everyone seems to be wearing all black, since when did that become a thing? And, um, Hmm. Not a lot to say. Um, yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm not being pelted at by um, things being shouted at as shame, 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 shame for like eating by myself. All this and more coming up. Um, I think I should mention this. Um, uh, I don't get to sit at the bar. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's a case of, um, oh, they're here by themselves, Let, let's just plonk them here. Um, but I did find myself having to explain to like the waitress, like, I get it, I've been a waitress. Um, you know, it's just like, would you like some of the signs? It's like, no, I am all here for the meat. And having to explain, you know, sort of like, well, my friends are vegan and vegetarian, which is part of the reason why it's all about the meat tonight. I'm not secretly vegan or anything. Um, yeah. That's something that I found myself having to explain and I really, really shouldn't, you know, never complain, never explain or something like that. Mm, yeah. Oh. Yeah, um, I mentioned this earlier, but um, what is with the whole kind of like exposed brick and exposed pipework, that whole hipsterified um, aesthetic that's just everywhere and it's like the bottles of hand wash and yeah, 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 you know, like, anyway. Ding ding, round four. Oh, meat. Yes, I got the best seat and um, yes. Oh, you have no food today. Huh? I can't eat it. Yeah, I can't eat it. Oh, you know. It's alright, it's alright. Bossy! Yeah, um, lovely breeze. Um, it's really nice. And she looks so chatty. That's a good thing. They've given me salad, and it's the best salad ever. I like the seat.
seat is so lovely as well. Thank you for screaming. Oh my god. The sound of me is all in. So now I have a seat by the bar in case I didn't say it previously. And the people are really nice. Um, I think because, you know, it's one of those open, like, open bar places where you can see the food being cooked. It's like, oh, you're here by yourself. Yeah, have some salad. I mean, either that means I look like a salad dodger or it's just kind of like, it's like, oh, you're the one that can't eat meat. Oh, it's your first time here. Yeah. But they are being so nice. And um, I think the trick is, uh, about eating out. As with a lot of things in life, you've got to own it and you've got to enjoy it. If you're a bit like, mm -hmm, then it's like, mm -hmm. but if you own it and you're really enjoying it, then yeah, yeah there you go. <sighs> and it's a lovely view outside as well. Lovely breeze, yes. Maybe I have a be nice to me face. Um, the nice thing about eating out by yourself is um, if you do have the good spot by the bar and you can chat with the chefs you can ask questions about ingredients and such you know yes um, also as someone who was a teenage waitress so it's just it's always very interesting eating out kind of like seeing like it's that theory of like um, swans it's all it lo all looks very graceful but underneath the look yes So I overheard someone say Aries and I was like, oh, is someone here in Aries? And just ended up having um, a nice conversation about um, <clears throat> sun signs and such and ended up like minorly doing people's charts, including people who work here. So, yeah. Um, had I come here with someone, would that have happened? I don't know. Or would, they have to, or would this person have been like, really? Do you have to talk about the star signs again? Actually, it's sun signs. Mm. Yeah. Nice adventures happen when you eat out by yourself. Um, yeah, like random people will clock you and just kind of like, you become like the third, not the third wheel, but it's just kind of like, oh, I see you guys doing it. Yeah. Wow. So, um, uh, eating out by yourself is actually a nice and good thing, but you have to own it. You can't do it shyly. Um, meh. Um, they were really, really nice to me. Um, they gave me salad. I'm guessing it's not because I look like a salad dollar. Ugh. Salad dollar. That's probably a band called that, right? Um, they gave me salad. Um, so, in conclusion, eating out by yourself it's really nice because you can choose where you go to you can choose your own adventure you can um be as chatty as you like or just like be as i'm here by myself doing this and i'm in the moment um uh you have to if you're feeling shy and awkward about it then there's no reason to be no one will judge you well people judge you anyway so you may as well give it a try but um, yeah, also such nice food. I'd show you my belly, but you know, pregnant, well, food baby vibes. Oh, yeah, I'm picking it up. <laughs> it was a really nice thing to do. And um, now it's time to walk home. I'm picking up the restaurant because they were really lovely and the food was nice and like water and like, oh, oh. Do, do, do. Look, Soho, coronavirus, well, like all social distance and stuff. Maybe they actually clocked me to like discreetly trying to film. Maybe that's why they were so nice to me. Or maybe it's just, yeah. Um, I think what, perhaps it sounds trite, perhaps not. But I think that um, it makes a difference where you're sat if, you know, having a nice spot um, the bar spot looking out and that's yeah that makes a difference because it's like oh you're sat here by yourself wicked people are they're kind of curious but they don't kind of like muscle in which is nice yeah one thing I noticed is that um, you know, people that went out as a group of friends or people that were coupled up I didn't see any throuples um, not as far as I know. Um, uh, it's just 
Eating out by yourself is great if you like people watching and um, mildly psychoanalyzing the dynamics between people and the body language and the such. Um, yeah, that's another bonus that eating out has. Also, I felt really cosmopolitan. It's just kind of like, do you know what? I can do this. Like, it's, it's a seemingly minor thing, but being able to eat out by yourself and just um, own it, it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm owning it. I'm really cosmopolitan and confident and like, ah, oh, maybe I'm becoming like, maybe I'm becoming like the grown up in numbers woman that I really aspired to be when I was a kid. Like, wow. Oh. Oh yeah, about the whole um, taking yourself out for a date thing. That, yeah, that, from Eat, Pray, Love. Yeah, it seems, yeah, cheesy. But, um, but yeah, um, there's a lot to be said for actually having the confidence to just go out by yourself to somewhere you would, oh, there's a fox, as in an actual, vulpus animus as opposed to like a hot person um yeah it's just it's one of those things that i'm kind of recommending people to try because um it's such a seemingly insignificant thing but um being able to do it counts for a lot so yes my honest thoughts are um yeah i mentioned about the whole eat pray love um, going on a date with yourself is just, I, I wouldn't go that far but um, knowing that you enjoy your own company is um, a very very good thing and eating out by yourself I'm, I'm giving it the full so yeah try it sometime and by eating out by yourself I don't it's not about having a like chowing down on something in McDonald's go to somewhere that you really want to go to um, you know, that place that you've always wanted to go to, but your friend's like, oh, I'm vegetarian, I'm vegan, or, um, you know, like, and sometimes, you know, it'd be nice to go, there's no getting around it, having company is a really nice thing, but um, time by yourself and eating out somewhere and just really enjoying the time to do it, and also, it's a really nice um keep saying um a lot for some reason it's a very nice feeling that um you have the autonomy and the agency to do this so yes eating out by yourself i really really think you should i'm really recommending it i'm not adverse to having company but yeah it's a really nice thing it's a really nice experiment um and if you do it own it okay yes oh and one last thing I think it's important to eat out by yourself if you've ever worked in uh, the restaurant industry because, um, you know, if you'd like, if how you've paid your rent is just kind of like, and will there be anything else, you know, services not included, yeah, last orders, actually eating out by yourself, it, it's just kind of like, it's acknowledging where you've come from and, um, yeah. It's weird if you've ever, um, well personally I find it weird when as someone who's worked in a restaurant and in a bar, like being able to be the person who's actually eating out, it's like, oh wow, something happened. Um, it's nice to like acknowledge, yeah, does that make sense? Hmm. Yes. Um, I always feel mild guilt whenever I eat out because it's like, yeah, I've been you. And um, yeah, I never trust anyone who is shitty to waiters or waitresses. Um, it's one of those things that they always do in interviews and they always do in um, uh, when it comes to dating. Um, but one interesting thing that is never mentioned is that the reason why you should always be nice to people who are you know, wait stuff 
is that in six months' time, you're probably the wait staff in terms of like, oh, hey, honey, uh, how was your day? Do you want a drink? You know, no? Makes sense? Yeah. Hmm. I also thought you might like this, so. Am I doing this right? Yeah. It's a view from Waterloo Bridge. Pretty, huh? Mm.